Today we're looking at harvested dove wings. Our hunters are a certain percentage are asked to save a, a wing off each bird they kill. They go in an envelope, they send them to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and biologists across the country look at these wings to determine the age of the bird harvested and that's how we get our age structure to go with harvest information. So the reason we're doing this is doves are a managed species, which means you know we don't just have a season and, and hope for the best. We, we try to track as many variables as we can. Uh, we band doves each year. We're required to band birds and that helps us get an idea of harvest. We know how many birds we think are in the population as an estimate. We know how many birds we band every year and the band returns gives us an, uh, an estimate on harvest and we use these wings to back up that data and, and to add the age of the bird, an age structure into that harvest data. So what we are looking for today are the buffy tips on what's called the secondary feathers. The flight feathers, these are called the primary feathers and above each primary feather is a secondary feather. And if you look closely on the end of these, you'll see a line across that buffy tip indicates that this bird was hatched the same year it was harvested. So it's a hatch year or a juvenile bird. All birds, songbirds, molt their feathers. Doves do it in a process. It'll start on the inside and work outward. So they'll process we count backwards from 10 to the inside until we find the new feather. So if you will look, you will see these kind of older beat up feathers and then we get to this feather here, which is a new pretty gray feather. So we will count back 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then that is the new feather in the number three position. So we will record our first wing. We will coat it as a morning dove. The age, This we said this was a hatch year bird, a juvenile bird. So we record it as a hatch year. And we said that the molt was the third feather. So we put three. This information is, is valuable so we can be less conservative when we know what we've got. So if we just say, oh, we think there are a lot of doves out there, then we need to be conservative because we don't know. But through information like this, we have these models. They give us a really good estimate of how many birds there are. And so, you know, we have a very liberal season on doves. We have an, a 90 day season with 15 birds a day that you can harvest in Kentucky. And so lots of opportunity to go out and hunt doves and have fun. And, you know, if we didn't have information like this, we might not be able to have as big a bag limit or as long a season. When you think about the critters that we hunt in this country, migratory birds, we have more information than anything else. And it allows us to have a very scientific process to monitor the, how we hunt these birds. And it's because of you guys, because you answer those questions, because you do your hip, because you participate in the parts collection survey. Without that, we don't have lots of that information.